Hello guys, welcome to the chapter Selling on WhatsApp. In this lesson, we're going to talk about an in-depth guide to WhatsApp business. Let's get started. WhatsApp business is a free downloadable app for small businesses that they can use for selling their products. You need to run the app first on your mobile device before connecting your WhatsApp to your web browser. To set up WhatsApp business, you must download the WhatsApp Business app from Google Play for Android mobile devices while you can download the WhatsApp Business app for Apple devices on the Apple Store. Next, you must verify your business phone number that you will link to your WhatsApp Business account. WhatsApp Business can only be managed by one person since the app is linked to one phone number. Create a business profile. You can set up your business profile, including your business contact information like your email address, contact number, business hours, location, and website. You can also add a cover photo that will be appealing to your customers. You can also use the catalog tool to showcase your products to your customers. Your customers can browse all the available items inside their product catalog. They can be convinced to purchase your products inside your catalog without checking out your website and leaving the WhatsApp app. It is best to have existing customers and have a list of their contact numbers. If they have purchased from you, it can be easier for them to save your business phone number. If you're sending campaign messages, your customers already know your brand and they will be willing to receive messages from you. Only users who have saved your business phone number can receive messages from your WhatsApp business app's number. Next, create broadcast messages. WhatsApp business allows you to update your customers about your products. You can send your customers individual message and send them once. You can send one message to multiple customers and they can receive it individually. It can seem like you are sending your customers a personal message which is less intrusive compared to sending mass email promotions. To send a broadcast message, tap on the three dots and click on the new broadcast option. Select the contacts to receive your broadcast message. The minimum is two contacts so that you can set broadcast messages. Now you have successfully created a new broadcast list. You can start creating the broadcast message here to send to the people inside this list. Use WhatsApp business messaging tools. Once you have tons of messages, you can easily set up a quick reply, automated greeting, or away messages. This can help you respond to your customers on your behalf, and it can save you time in composing the same messages that you send to your contacts. They may be asking the same questions that are also asked by other customers. The Away Message feature allows you to send a customized message to your customers when they send you a message before or after office hours. The Greeting Message feature will allow you to send a customized message to greet your customers as they send you a message for the first time. The Quick Replies feature allows you to create templates using keyword phrases and send those saved templates you want to send to your customers. It can save you the time and effort to write the same message that you need to send to your customers as these messages can be saved as a template. Next, create brand awareness. To build your contacts list on your WhatsApp business account, you must inform your followers in your social media accounts about your WhatsApp business number. That way, your brand's followers can be aware that they can easily communicate with your brand using WhatsApp. You can share it in the About section of your social media profile or post a link to your WhatsApp number. Use WhatsApp Stories Similar to Facebook Stories, WhatsApp has a feature where you can share text, images, or videos with personalized stickers or text. It can be available for 24 hours. Stories are a great way to share your brand's behind the scenes to show the personal side of your business with your customers. Business owners must use WhatsApp business in selling their products. There are more than 1 billion monthly active users on WhatsApp. Since people are already using the app, you can easily reach your potential customers via instant messaging using WhatsApp. Businesses can benefit from having WhatsApp business since it can send direct promotions acting as personal messages to every contact in their list. People are using their mobile devices most of the time, so it is a good practice to use an instant messaging app to inform your contacts about your new products or your new product stocks. Next, you can use WhatsApp to communicate with your customers. Messaging your customers using WhatsApp gets more responses since it is not intrusive at all. Compared to connecting with your potential customers by calling them, messaging through your WhatsApp business will allow your recipients to respond to your messages, allowing you to get better responses and engagement. 
When creating a message campaign on your WhatsApp business account, you need to take note that you can only send your messages with up to 256 WhatsApp users in your contacts list. And these users should also save your WhatsApp business number in their WhatsApp contacts list. Your WhatsApp business can act as your customer support. If your customers need to contact your business to make inquiries, inform about product issues, or problems that they may have encountered, the instant messaging feature using WhatsApp is easily accessible and they can message you right away rather than calling your hotline number. WhatsApp allows businesses to showcase and sell their products using the app. Businesses can communicate with their potential and current customers regarding their products or services. WhatsApp Business makes it easier for businesses to save time by creating templates for common responses and common answers to questions. Now that you know about an in-depth guide to WhatsApp Business, we can now proceed to the next lesson, how to accept payment on WhatsApp. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.